Model Test 5 Speaking Section The speaking section tests your ability to communicate in English in an academic setting. During the test, you will be presented with six speaking questions. The questions ask for a response to a single question, a conversation, a talk, or a lecture. You may take notes as you listen, but notes are not graded. You may use your notes to answer the questions. Some of the questions ask for a response to a reading passage and a talk or a lecture. The reading passages and the questions are written, but the directions will be spoken. Your speaking will be evaluated on both the fluency of the language and the accuracy of the content. You will have 15 to 20 seconds to prepare and 45 to 60 seconds to respond to each question. Typically, a good response will require all of the response time, and the answer will be complete by the end of the response time. You will have about 20 minutes to complete the speaking section. A clock on the screen will show you how much time you have to prepare each of your answers and how much time you have to record each response. Number one Listen for a question about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you have 15 seconds to prepare and 45 seconds to record your answer. If you were asked to choose one place in your country where you would take a tourist, which one would you choose? Why? What is especially impressive about the place? Use specific reasons and details to explain your choice. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number two. Listen for a question that asks your opinion about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you have 15 seconds to prepare and 45 seconds to record your answer. Some people believe that the best way to succeed is to set goals and work hard to achieve them. Other people think that hard work is not as important as good luck. Which point of view do you think is true and why? Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number three. Read a short passage and listen to a talk on the same topic. Then listen for a question about them. After you hear the question, you have 30 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to record your answer. A student meeting is planned to discuss the policy for vehicle registration. Read the policy in the college catalog printed on page 401. 
You have 45 seconds to complete it. Please begin reading now. Now listen to a student who is speaking at the meeting. She is expressing her opinion about the policy. Well, I don't mind paying a parking fee, and I even think that $20 is reasonable. But my concern is that some of us are using more than one car. And since the registration's for the car, not the student, well, then you have to pay $40 so you can drive both of your cars on campus. But you're only one student. See what I mean? Like me, sometimes I have to take my husband's car, and one time last semester, I didn't have it registered and I got a ticket. I think that every student should pay a parking fee and then just put a parking permit on the windshield of whatever car the student is driving that day. Don't you? The student expresses her opinion of the policy for vehicle registration. Report her opinion and explain the reasons that she gives for having that opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number four. Read a short passage and then listen to part of a lecture on the same topic. Then listen for a question about them. After you hear the question, you have 30 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to record your answer. Now read the passage about stress, printed on page 402. You have 45 seconds to complete it. Please begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture in a psychology class. The professor is talking about an experiment. Let me tell you about a classic experiment on rats. I think it was first done in the early 70s by Weiss and reported in the Scientific American. Anyway, the rats were divided randomly into three groups. 
Rats in the first group were given shocks, but just before the shock was induced, they received a warning in the form of a tone. The second group of rats was also given shocks, but this group didn't receive the warning tone. And the final, control group received no shocks, but they were exposed to the same warning tone as the first group. After a few weeks, the rats were examined, and the animals that had received shocks with no warning were already showing severe signs of stomach ulcers. The other two groups of rats showed little or no instance of ulcers. According to Weiss, the experiment confirmed that unexpected events are more stressful than those that can be predicted. In related experiments, there was also evidence that even a small amount of control over the circumstances surrounding the stress can lower the negative effects. When rats were allowed to select their own rest and feeding times, they experienced less physical damage than did rats that received the same amount of rest and feeding at times that were selected for them. Explain the causes of stress and relate them to the experiment with rats. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number five, listen to a short conversation, then listen for a question about it. After you hear the question, you have 20 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to record your answer. Now listen to a conversation between a student and her friend. What are you going to do for the project? I don't know. I was hoping you could help me think of something. Well... You're such a good artist, you could talk about watercolor while you're doing one in front of the class. That'd be totally awesome. If I were you, that's what I'd do. Maybe. But what if I make a mistake in front of everyone? Come on, you're really talented. Besides, you wouldn't have to do much preparation beforehand. True. And it fits in with what we've been talking about in class. Yeah. Or how about this? You could bring in a photograph, a, a pencil drawing, and a watercolor of the same subject. Something simple, so it wouldn't take so much time to do, like a flower. Then you could show the advantages and disadvantages of working with different materials. I could do that one ahead of time. You could, but remember, it'd take a lot more time. Gee, thanks. I'll have to think about it, but these are both really good options. Describe the woman's problem and the two suggestions that her friend makes about how to handle it. What do you think the woman should do, and why? Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep.
Number six, listen to part of a lecture, then listen for a question about it. After you hear the question, you have 20 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to record your answer. Now listen to part of a lecture in a geology class. The professor is discussing caverns. Okay, as you'll recall, caves form in limestone when acidic groundwater follows some kind of weakness in the rocks. Now, the rock formations in a cavern, that's the technical name that we use for a cave, the rock formations there are of two kinds, stalactites and stalagmites. Both of these formations are water that contains dissolved minerals that, that accumulate and build deposits. But stalactites hang down from the ceiling of a cavern and stalagmites protrude up from the floor of the cavern. Well, these words sound a lot alike and this can be confusing. So I always tell my students to remember that there is a T in stalactites and the T has a tail that hangs down just like the stalactites that hang down from the ceiling of the cave. But there is an M in stalagmites and the points on an M stick up like the stalagmites that protrude up from the ground in a cave. And if that doesn't work for you, another way to remember the difference is that stalactite has a C in it, and so does the word ceiling, whereas stalagmite has a G in it, and so does the word ground. So stalactites drip down from the ceiling, and stalagmites build up from the ground. So with these little tricks for remembering the difference, I expect you all to get this right on the next quiz. Using the main points and examples from the lecture, describe the two kinds of rock formations in a cavern and explain how the professor helps his students remember the difference between the two. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Model test five, example answers. Example answer for independent speaking question one, a tourist attraction. Although a case could be made for showing a tourist the beautiful mountain region or the historic capital city in my country, I'd probably take a tourist to my home because living with a family would give this visitor a perspective about my country that few tourists have. Shopping, eating meals together, um, interacting and participating in the usual everyday activities, attending religious services, and, and visiting friends in their homes. Um, this would let the visitor live in my culture for a while. I think this is more impressive than taking photos of places because you can see all of the usual tourist attractions in videos or magazines, but you can't understand how people live unless you live with them. Example answer for independent speaking question two. Success. I think it's important to set goals and work hard to achieve them. For one thing, goals help you think clearly about what you're doing. By identifying goals, you get organized. Another thing's the advantage of sharing goals with people who can help you. If others know what you're trying to do, sometimes they give you advice or assistance. As for good luck, I agree that a lucky opportunity or a chance meeting with a person who can help you is sometimes a key to success. But unless you know where you're going, 
and what you want to achieve, you might not even recognize a lucky opportunity. So in my opinion, the best way to succeed is to know what you want and work to create your own good fortune. Then, if luck shines on you, you'll just reach your goal sooner. Example answer for integrated speaking question 3. Auto registration. To park on campus, students have to buy permits for each vehicle. They cost $20. The woman doesn't oppose the fee, but she believes that it, I mean the fee, it should cover all the vehicles that a student might need to use. She uses a personal example from last term when she had to drive her husband's car and she got a ticket even though she had a paid permit for her own car. So, um, so her solutions to pay for parking on campus and then display the permit on the vehicle that the student happens to be driving that day. That way, if there are several cars in the family, the student can drive any of them using the same parking permit. In other words, she thinks that the $20 registration should be for the student who needs the parking space, not for the vehicle that the student's driving. Example answer for integrated speaking question 4. Stress. Stress is caused by changes in the environment that require people to adjust to new circumstances. It's interesting that these new conditions don't have to be negative. For example, you'd expect to have stress after a divorce or a health problem, but even moving to a new house or going on a trip can be stressful. Okay, in the experiment by Weiss, one group of rats was shocked after they heard a tone. So they knew that the shock was gonna happen. Another group of rats heard the tone but didn't get the shock. And the other group received shocks at random without warning. So, the rats that received shocks without warning, they were the ones who developed ulcers, but the other two groups had fewer ulcers or none at all. And this research proved that unexpected experiences are more stressful than those we can predict. Additional investigations also showed that even a little bit of control, like choosing times to rest or eat, could reduce stress. Example answer for integrated speaking question 5. Art project. The woman's trying to decide what to do for her project, and her friend makes a couple of suggestions. He encourages her to paint a watercolor in front of the class while she's giving a talk about watercolor. The advantage of that project is she wouldn't have to prepare very much before the presentation. The other idea is to show three different versions of one subject, like a flower, in watercolor, a pencil sketch, and maybe a photograph. She could talk about the pluses and minuses of working in each of the three media. Um, the advantage of the second project is that she could prepare it before class, but the problem is it would be more time consuming. I think she should go with the second idea because she seemed nervous about doing a spontaneous watercolor, and even though it would take more time, showing the three pieces of art would be less stressful, and the advanced preparation might influence the professor to give her a better grade. Example answer for integrated speaking question 6. Caverns. The rock formations in caverns are made up of water that's saturated with dissolved minerals. As they drip and deposit themselves in the cave, you'll notice some of them hang from the ceiling and some of them grow up from the floor. The terms for each of these deposits are so similar that the professor suggests some tricks to help keep them straight. Stalactite has the letter T in it which reminds students of a tail that hangs down. But stalagmite has the letter M in it, which brings to mind two points that stick up. He also points out that stalactite has a C in it, like the word ceiling. And stalactites drip down from the ceiling, but stalagmite has a G in it, like the word ground. And stalagmites grow up from the ground. So, so these uh, memory aids, they help us recall that stalactites are the rock formations that grow down from the cavern, and stalagmites are the ones that grow up from the floor.